Welcome back. Yes, that was Leeds. Yes, and you know I like to start my show. I always like to start it with a lot of energy so you guys don't feel dull and, you know, sleepy while we're talking because I know that we're a very interesting personality. <laughs> anyway, so there's no way you can feel no, dull and sleepy. Except we're not we're, talking. Huh? Except we're not talking. Except we're not mm. talking, definitely. And yeah, but when we're not talking, we also like to give them the vibe too. You so know? something to dance mm. to as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one way or another, you have to stay awake because we have big stories for you to analyze. And yes, when I have a fair on this table, you should know we'll have some deep analysis. And the first one is on Dr. Dre, who has been hospitalized after suffering brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysm is a weakness in a blood vessel in the brain that balloons and fuels with blood. Most intracranial aneurysms occur between the underside of the brain and the base of the skull. The aneurysm can leak or rupture, causing life-threatening bleeding. Yeah, so in case you didn't know what brain aneurysm was, that is what it is. So it yeah. causes a swelling, you know, blood goes into a particular area, fills it up, it balloons up, and if it ruptures, um, yes, it could lead to death, it could be fatal. And that's what, you know, the first black billionaire, uh, no, he's not the first black billionaire, no, a no. rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the first black billionaire rapper before he sold part of his company is suffering from right now. And yeah, you know, they say it's, it causes a lot of things too. He just got divorced too with his 20, um, 23 years um, wife. Mm. And um, yeah, they just got divorced. And she's not so, yeah. being nice about it. She's fighting yeah. very dirty. Yeah, she's fighting it dirty and she's asking for a lot of I wonder you know, why. 23 years is a long time. He probably really messed up. Probably, probably, but or she's think, a villain who has gone crazy, and that's why. Or do you think this has been like pub, um, public knowledge or within the family, and she's just trying to make something work out? Like ah, you're gonna die anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> you feel no That's just me. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I don't mean he's going to die. I'm just saying, like, what if that's yeah. what she's expecting? I mean, it, it seems like it's trending now where men are getting physically Weak. ill from heartaches mm. like that seems to be the trend lately like mm. somebody died because they found out that his wife his wife uh, was having it? yeah yeah and another person had a heart attack and then i don't know if you uh, were too soft yeah too soft we were be taking we're, all your we're, we're, all your we're, l's we're beginning to add like sliced bread <laughs> we're not doing, like, I'll give you I swear. <laughs> like anyway uh on a serious note obviously it's really sad that he's going through that but mm. i'm glad he is Seems like he's fighting it. There was, mm. um, I think, an update today on routers that, you mm -hmm. know, he seems to be getting, getting a better. bit better. No, he's definitely yeah. getting better. He's mm. responding to treatment. But. Yeah, so I, I think that for me is like the highlight of the story that mm. I should be sad to lose Dr. Dre now. It's too soon. What? Like, way too soon. There's still a lot more um, he could teach, you know, younger generations with his academy and everything that he's set up and stuff. Yeah. And obviously for his family, which is the most important thing, I'm pretty sure they want him around to see more grandchildren and all of that. So, I mean, kudos to him. I don't know if this would bring the, the him and his wife together. Sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. when death kind of reminds you of what is really important. What it used to be. Yes, exactly. So, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe this is, like you said, maybe this has been a chance for her to go and hammer more and take all his money yeah. so but but you know dr goes. dre is someone that can't be forgotten in a hurry because um, regardless of what i goes down you get life will go on and this uh one one of the few people that has left his names in the mm. in the um in the sand and um, regardless of how you look at it i don't think the waves can ever wash yeah. dr dre away you know he's left a legacy he's been extraordinary and then i remember listening to nwa back in the days you get with ice cube and everybody and then the amount of love that has been poured out as well with people saying oh um get well soon dr dre and all that you get it just shows that this is somebody that has left a lot of impact and the people that are actually talking are actually the ogs and you mm. can see that this are people that really represent what the hip-hop culture means and then they are the ones who are actually wishing him a lot. I'm not saying the younger generations are not saying a thing, but I'm just saying that the caliber of people speaking as well also counts. It also, it also shows the type of man he is. And I think that's enough, you know, when you live a well-deserved life, it's always amazing. Mm, mm. I think so too. I'm happy he's happy. I mean, what, that he's getting better and stuff. Well, yeah. It's something I want to keep... I, I feel like Dr. Dre's space is a, is a space I want to keep looking at mm. to see how the divorce settles and, and everything. Because you don't really know much about him. He doesn't really enter the news for drama, so... Yeah, this is like, he, he, didn't he didn't come to the news for a long time until he became a billionaire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how this ends. Not ends, but like how it progresses for him, really. Yeah. yeah. 
Alrighty.